hello dear and lovely friends welcome back to this channel it is good to be back after three weeks of holiday and i'm really happy to be back so thank you guys for tuning in in today's video i will be showing you how i cut and sew that massive skirt you just saw on the slide and some of you have said you have difficulties and you spend so much time in gathering the skirt to the waistband today i'll be showing you one quick method i use to gather my skirt to the waistband plus i will be showing you how i take my measurements for my skirt and for that of my friends and also i'll be showing you how i cut the slip and how i sew it in a way that it look as if it is that of a profi so if you are interested dear let's get started the major things i need for this skirt is the zip the hook and yeah and my fabric and also my ruler and so on The length of the skirt is 42, but I will be adding one inch seam allowance and that means I'll be cutting out 43 inches for the length of the skirt. The measurement we'll be taking is the waist measurement where we want our waist bands to be. For my friend, her waist measurement is 27 plus one and a half inch seam allowance because I will be adding zip. For the waistband, I will need two measurements, the brightness and the width of the waistband. So the brightness for the waistband would be five inches when folded when not folded it will be 10 inches so i will be cutting it on fold the width of the waistband will be 27 inches plus one and a half inch seam allowance you can add more seam allowance if you like because of the zip but i am comfortable with one and a half inch seam allowance so i will cut that one out so the next thing i will be adding the gun stay and if you are using this type of gun stay you have to know that the shiny part is the part that you are going to iron to the back of your fabric so if you iron it out this is how your band is going to look like Now to measure and cut out the place where I'm going to put my slip. This is how I'm going to be folding my fabric. I will be folding my fabric in two. That is, I will be bringing the part where I will be putting the zip to the back, but three inches away from the middle. Then I will fold my fabric back again in three. to cut my slip i will cut it almost to the quarter inch away from the end of the fabric so that i don't have plenty pieces i need to join together and then i will pin it together and then sew it in the machine to be pinning like quarter inch and then I will take it to the machine and sew it all the way from the top to the end.
against, I have to do the gather. And this is where my friend says that it is time consuming because trying to do the gather on the band. <laughs> I use is that I pin the two sides of my fabric to each side of the band and I will go and sew in the machine. I will sew just a quarter inch on the machine. Then I will start to arrange my gathered again and pin it out and then sew the rest parts in the machine. And it is quite fast by doing it like this. So this is one of the methods I use and you can also try it out. band I will use the opportunity to sew in the zip and then hem the rest part of the skirt and that is all for the skirt so thank you for watching and I will show you some slide later on how my friends and sister rock this skirt <music>